If you're wondering how Xiaomi's new X-Ring O1 chip, the one they've made themselves, fares against the likes of Apple's A18 Pro or the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Elite processor, well, you've come to the right place. I'm putting up the brand new Xiaomi 15S Pro against the Apple iPhone 16 Pro and the Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra. We're going to be cutting up this video into multiple parts with the first one being benchmarks. And to be honest, I'm not a huge fan of benchmarks because although they do represent how much power a chip or a smartphone packs, it's not necessarily the holistic picture when you think of real world performance. And that's why this is just going to be the first part in the video and we're going to start with things like Antutu followed by Geekbench 6 and finally 3D Mark. And to save you some time, I've already run the benchmarks, so let's get crunching. On Antutu, it's a clear win for the X-Ring 01 on the Xiaomi 15S Pro, and most of the incremental gains over the second place Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Elite come in the CPU and GPU department. Apple's A18 Pro is last by a huge margin, with it only competing on the UX score. Next we've got Geekbench 6 and here the A18 Pro takes the win for single core performance with the Snapdragon 8 Elite coming second and the X-Ring 01 just marginally behind. As for multi-core performance, the 8 Elite is way ahead with the X-Ring 01 slightly ahead of the last placed A18 Pro. Lastly we've got 3D Mark testing Steel Nomad Lite where the X-Ring 01 and 8 Elite both crush the A18 Pro. Okay so now that we've got a baseline on all of the chipsets, I thought the second test would be a speed and RAM management test in a real world scenario. So I've basically loaded up all of these three smartphones with 10 different applications to test RAM as well as how fast or slow they are in opening up these applications. And although this again is sort of a subjective test because not every application will load the same thing over and over and there could be some tendency of human error, I think this is a more representative version of how the smartphone is going to perform in your hand and that's why I'm throwing it in. So the 8 Elite is the fastest for round 1, completing the cycle in 1 minute and 16 seconds, followed by the X-Ring 01 at 1 minute and 19, and then the A18 Pro at 1 minute and 26. In round 2, mostly assessing each smartphone's RAM management, the Galaxy S25 Ultra and the Apple iPhone 16 Pro keep all applications in memory and finish at 1 minute and 40 and 1 minute and 48 seconds respectively, with the 15S Pro coming last having to reload asphalt, finishing at 1 minute and 54 seconds. I think we're now starting to get a hang of which device and which chipset performs better and worse in which different conditions, but this video rendering test will give you even more insight. So what I've done is I've loaded each smartphone with a 1.5 minute video that I've edited in Instagram edits, and I'm going to be rendering this video at a 4K resolution completely at 60 FPS to see which smartphone can handle it the best. And as I time this rendering test, the A18 Pro here choose through the edit without any problem whatsoever with the Snapdragon 8 Elite finishing second and the X-Ring 01 taking much longer and finishing last. This is why I like throwing in these kind of tests because they give you a different perspective compared to what we saw with the benchmarks earlier. Last but not least, I want to throw in a 5G connectivity test. Here the 15S Pro and its chipset is a China exclusive, so 5G speeds and 4G speeds are a bit up and down with it only registering about a 650 megabit per second score, whereas both the Snapdragon 8 Elite as well as the A18 Pro on the iPhone 16 Pro and the Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra respectively got up to 1 gigabits per second. And with that, I want to wrap up this video. I thought and I know you guys wanted me to do a gaming test as well, but I don't have the 15S Pro with me for very long. So I thought I'd put these things together and with the gaming tests, maybe in the future I can do something where I can really measure the FPS and performance in an in-depth video and give you guys more value. But yeah, thanks for watching, do let me know what you guys think about these results and do like and subscribe if you enjoyed this one. Thanks for watching, this was Vabov and I'll see you in the next one, adios!